Hey guys, welcome back to another Arc Dev Kit tutorial. Finally, I've been meaning to make this video for a really long time. I know I've been, you know, completely radio silent. I did that Eternal series, which probably most of you didn't check out. I don't blame you. Um, but I did that little series on Arc, and then the server went down, and then someone else brought it up, and I kind of lost interest in the mod a little bit. And then I've just graduated from college, so I'm done with that now. And so finally, I might have a bit of time to record some more videos for you guys. So today we're going to be looking at rivers. This is going to be one type of river. Well, two types actually. We're going to do one with physics in it, which is like what you see in the island. There's the rivers that you can actually swim in. Um, and then also we're going to look at the running rivers that you see in maps like the center and sometimes Ragnarok as well that aren't actually water. And they're literally just a static mesh, which you could make in a program like Blender if you need it to be a specific shape. Um, and they're literally just a static mesh with the river material on it and you can do that anywhere in the map really you don't even need much prep work for it um, and because it's kind of just a bit of a fiddly process and you know you just got to sculpt out a bit of your landscape and put the mesh in I've actually already made one of these rivers just get rid of all that crap here we go so as you can see I've just got a little almost like a waterfall running down here and then coming down into a river here and ending in a rock and all that rock does is actually just cover up the end of the mesh, which is about here. So literally all I've done here is just popped in the content browser, got that filter on, and just done a search for water. And then you can have a look around, put the static mesh filter on. You access that by clicking on the filters tab here. And then you can have a look around and there's so many different ones to choose from. Or you could do a search for river. River, I said. Here we go, and you can see these are starting to load in now, and this is what you really want. Now, the only issue we can have with some of these is that some of them are a little bit funky, and because they were made specifically for the center, they're quite hard to move around, because if I drag this one in, you'll see that we've got our bit to move it around over here. So this is the center of the mesh, but the river is actually over up in the top here. So probably don't want to use that one, because that's a bit of a pain. So it's best to look for ones from the island, so to do that, just hover your mouse over and you'll see in the little information panel that pops up there, it's located in the Primal Earth folder and that's what's used for the island maps. If it was a center river, which I think is one of these, you can see it's in game, mods, and the center. And to use them, you actually have to import them into your mod as well. So it's best to just stick with stuff from the island if you can, because it does make it a little bit easier. So let's just grab this one. Should we do this one? And here you go, you can see we have a river here. It's actually a pre-made shape because this is a mesh that was made for the island. Uh, what I have been doing is basically just using the terrain of the landscape to cover up the bits I don't need. But it gives you quite a nice defined shape to have your river anyway. You can resize it, so you can click on the scale options and change it to let's say 0.5 by 0.5 to make it a little bit smaller if you need to. That's what I've done with these ones down here. And then literally all you've got to do for these, the nice and simple, is just position them somewhere in your landscape and create a bit of a dip for them and they'll sit in perfectly. So that is the first type of river and that is the ones that have no properties to them and they're literally just a floating mesh that looks like a running river and kind of looks cool. I mean you could use them maybe in caves for an area you can't reach but to make it look nicer or you could like the center dev does you could stick them running down into other rivers which i'm going to show you how to make now okay guys welcome back so for this river we're going to create something running from this rock all the way down to the ocean now the way that this is done quite a lot is to use this water plane as your rivers plane and that's actually done for the island in a lot of the big rivers in there. So all you have to do is just make sure you're on your landscape level and go to your landscape tool and just sculpt out a riverbed basically that's low enough so that the water plane from the ocean starts to poke through. There we go. Now the only issue with this, with this map in particular, is that I have actually got the water plane for the ocean quite low because you can see that you do have to walk up all of the beaches here a little bit. So, of course, the solution to that is to get our water plane and let's just pull it up a little bit. 
and that fills in the rest of the beaches a little bit. It does make it look a little bit nicer, actually, a little bit more realistic. And then we have our river here as well, and it leads to a nice pond area. So this, like I said, this is used for quite a lot of the big rivers on the island, and you could use this method anywhere. The only place where it differs is when you want to have it at a higher level, like up here, for example. And in that circumstance, you need to find a smaller static mesh or make one yourself in a program like Blender. I'm not going to demonstrate how to do that because as I've said to a couple of people in the comment sections, I absolutely despise that program and I do my absolute best to avoid it. I probably will end up making some tutorials for it at some point to do with the dev kit, but personally, I strongly dislike it. So if like me and you hate Blender, you might be able to find some static meshes in here or possibly online that you could use for it to fill in that gap and then you just need to place another smaller physics volume and a post-processing volume underneath. So let's just hit play and we'll have a run around and see what both these little rivers are like. Okay here we go guys, sorry if it's a little bit framey, I'm not really sure what's going on at the moment. I've had quite a few issues with the dev kit actually. I'm in fact saying that the new version has just released V258 or V268 sorry so I'll probably update to that today and see if it improves anything but I'm not sure to be honest. So here's our little river, and that is, like I said, just a mesh sitting on top of the floor. I have also got a little extra bit here, which is a particle system, which I found, which is quite cool. And there's another one of them up here. You can see the steam. And literally all I did is search for water and put a particle system filter on, and I got some of them out. So really, it's all just about kind of having a search around and seeing what you can find, something that looks cool. And then let's run over here. So this one is obviously a little bit more realistic. If we jump in, we're going to get some water. And we can hear the water noises. Except, here we go. Wow, that is so loud. Apologies if that's really loud. I'll probably turn it down if it is. But that was a bit deafening. So what we've forgotten to do here, of course, is to move the post-processing and physics volume. Oh, well, sorry about that. After that little phone call interruption there, basically, I've forgotten to move the physics and post-processing up as well. So let's just jump out of the play mode. And let's just pop those up a little bit. Just because obviously that finalized the water and makes it not look like crap. There was actually a section of the island a little while ago that looked like this and they didn't have the physics and post-processing lined up at all, and it looked terrible. It was just near one of the East Mountains, I think, and uh, it did get fixed eventually, but it was broken for quite a long time. All right, guys, welcome back. Obviously, if you don't know how to do that stuff, you need to go back and look at some of my earlier tutorials. I think it was episode two I did water in. There we go, that's a bit better. So we're actually able to swim in our water now except not quite to the top, but that's all right. That can be adjusted, but I can see that the volume has increased quite a lot of the water inside the dev kit. So sorry if it's a bit hard to hear, but there we go. I think that pretty much wraps up how to do that. If you have any questions, please drop a comment and I'll of course answer them like I always try my best to do. And you can expect some more videos from me soon. So. I will do my best to get out some more dev kit tutorials on mapping and also on some other modding aspects such as dinos, weapons and other tools as well because I know there's been quite a lot of requests for that. So thank you very much for watching this video guys. If it helped you out of course leave a like and subscribe for more videos and drop a comment if you have any questions. So thanks very much for watching and I shall see you all in the next one.